Today we're going to learn how to bring a new table that we've added to our SQL Server database up into OutSystems so that we can access it in our OutSystems application. So first I'm going to show that we don't have that table here. Uh, I'm going into my data section of my project, um, pull down entities, and you'll see here's our database, ICISDB and we have no table that's called AT users. That's a table we're going to look forward, look for here. So the first thing we need to make sure of is that whatever we have on our local workstation is the most recent version of this XIF file. So um, I'm going to open the ICISDB extension from um, the cloud from our development environment and bring it into Service Studio or the Integration Studio here. Okay, it opened on my other monitor. Let me bring it over to this monitor. Okay, so um, you can see here in our list of entities that are currently there. Again, we don't have our AT users. So what we want to do is go um, and highlight entities, which is where we're going to be adding the entity. We're going to click on connect to an external table or view. Okay. Click through there. Here's our platform database connector, which was called ICIS. That's um, how the admin area on OutSystems, our environment, is set up to talk to our database. Okay, and we're going to choose the ICIS database. It's gone through and, and seen what tables are there as being available. And we want to bring this one here, um, AT users, over because we don't have it. Okay, so we click on Add. Then we click Next. And the logical database name is the same, ICIS. Okay, and the entity was now created. Okay. If I look at this entity, you can see it has all of our elements that we had in SQL Server. Here's the SQL Server definition. And if I can get them side by side, more or less, you can see that they're all the same. And notice here that our AT user ID is um, now set to a long integer because that's what they use for the IDs instead of a big int, which is what we brought it in as. Um, it's uh, mandatory and it's auto, um, auto numbered or auto incremented, auto generated. So that means the identifier or primary key to the table is this user ID, which is what we wanted. Okay, so uh, I need to either uh, save and verify, or uh, verify and save, uh, or one-click publish, which does the verification, the save, and the publish, which is what I usually choose. So now I've published it. I'm publishing it. So it's verifying that whatever changes I've made are correct, correct syntax and everything, and now it's telling me um, that there's a, a potential incompatible consumer, meaning that the, some of the projects up there that use this XIF um, have to be updated. Well, we know ours does already because we saw that it's not in our uh, entity structures. So now to get to do that, we go back to our um, ICIS application in our service studio. We choose module, manage dependencies, and this process is going to go through and, and verify that all of our dependencies are updated. So when we scroll down to our ICIS uh, database, we should see we have a table that's not in the database. So we want to um, check on this box and then click OK. And now you can see we have 18 users in our database so we can use this structure um, in any application. We have to republish the application to actually get the data to be there um, exactly. So if I republish it, now everything should 
uh, work well and we have our new table added to the database. So that's it for today. Thank you. Bye.